1982 Rover SD1. So this is your two liter automatic. The optional and actually very attractive metallic copper red paint. It's a beautiful color. Really nice spec with a cream interior as well. This one was bought new in 82, um, owned by the same owner until 93. Obviously used very sparingly due to the mileage, which we'll show you in a second. Um, it was then passed to the grandson who dry stored the car until 2014, where it was pulled out, light recommissioning, light restoration, that sort of stuff, um, which we'll list everything in the description, all the usual stuff you'd expect. Um, it did have a speedo replaced in the 80s, which is documented in the service book. We've got the original service book. Uh, it was changed at 12,000 miles. The new speedo now shows 7,000 miles, obviously started at zero, so it's on 19,000 miles. Um, and again, when you look at the service book, the fact that it was off the road, and then the uh, MOTs, so it's had an MOT ever since it got put back in the road in 2014. Um, current one now as well, even though it's exempt now, still has an MOT till next year. We're gonna start by having a good look around the bodywork, then we'll go for the, through the interior, and then we'll go for a cold engine starter. Starting on this driver's side, if we look down this side, you can see it's lovely and straight all the way down there. There's no ripples or dents, not full of filler. All your panel gaps are lovely and neat all the way down. Driver's front wing itself, lovely and clean. If we look down on that splitter, you can see it's all tidy down there. There's no stone chips or anything on that. And then inside the arch, really good all the way around, nice and tidy. We're on a matching set, four matching Hankook tyres with the correct wheel trims in really nice condition. That pinstripe is nice and sharp all the way down. No marks at all to note on that. Driver's front wing across the top here is lovely and neat. Down the sides are good. And then as we go down the bottom here, normally you find a bit of rust along here, but this one, as you can see, is lovely. Up onto the top, and again, across the top of the wing is nice and neat. Up the A-pillar, it's clean all the way down. We do have a little bubble just started just there. Hasn't broken the paint. It's really solid if you push on it, but it is there. And there's a tiny bit of delamination at the bottom of the screen but the rest of the screen is nice and neat. Glass on this side is clear all the way down. This trim is nice, quite often this can go milky, and the window seals, they're nice and soft as well. Up onto the roof, and we've got one little stone chip just there, but other than that, the rest of the roof, lovely and straight, dent free, nice and smooth. Maybe a small bird poo mark there if you're being really picky. They might want polished out. No marks around the wing mirror, and then at the driver's door, lovely and tidy all the way down the door. Follow that sill all the way along. Again, that's clean all the way down. There is one little mark that's been touched in just there where it's been open on something at some point. Rear door again, nice and neat. And normally this area here is where you're looking for your rust. Down the bottom there, that seam is nice. Inside the arch is good all the way around. Another good wheel, a matching tire. And there is a little mark just in the paint, just there on the door, that rear quarter. Lovely and neat all the way around. And then round onto the back bumper. Sorry, on the back of the car. Rear bumper sits nice and level. All your barges are lovely, as are tail lights on both sides. There's a little mark just there on the paint. Around the rear screen. That's soft all the way around. There's no corrosion coming through. All nice and neat. That is the original supply and dealer in Wales. Round up the passenger side. Actually, before we go on, I will point out those seams there are lovely as well. Normally you find a whole load of corrosion coming through there, but they're both very good. Passenger side, lovely and neat all the way down. Again, no ripples, no dents, not full of filler. Underneath the bumper on this side is nice. Inside that rear arch is lovely and sharp all the way around. No corrosion coming through on the arch itself at all. Another good wheel and tire. That rear quarter is nice and neat. It's really nice color as well. It's lovely deep metallic red. Glass on this side is all nice and clear. Have a look at the roof from this angle as well. Again, no corrosion coming through on the screen. Down there, along the front here is nice and neat. It's got an old 1992 tax disc in there as well, nice touch. Rear door on this side, all good. Same story on the passenger door. We'll follow the sill all the way along. You can see that's good all the way down there. Front wing. Okay, nice and neat, there's no corrosion coming through on the arch. You can see how clean that is in there. Lovely and tidy, another good wheel and matching tire. And then round up the front. Again, the bumper sits nice and straight, headlamps and indicators are clear. 
we do have fog lights lower down with the covers on and then you can see front split area is lovely and neat it's not been rammed up any curbs there's a little bit of bu bubbling in sort of the stainless trim these are plastic and they sort of bubble up a little bit uh, pretty much everyone i've ever seen does that as well but the proper chrome like this is all nice all the way around on it itself lovely and straight nice and neat very good looking car as well moving on to the interior you've got that red on the outside creamy tan on the inside really nice and neat on the door card normally you get some wear here or here from being used as an armrest but this one's all good door shuts are lovely this material always looks dirty on camera but if you get close you can see it's lovely and clean personally i'd give that a little bit of a steam clean just to tighten that material up um, but that is as good as you're going to find them really nice along trim section of the dash 7,402 miles. If you add the 12,000 to it, there's 19,000 miles. Lovely and clean on the steering wheel itself. A very 80 steering wheel. Oh, nice. And it's even got the original Rovis stereo in there. All good down the centre console. Pop the bonnet for when we get there. So you pop that open and your bonnet releases inside there. Similar to the earlier Rovers. Doors shut level as well. There's no slamming them. They're just nice and neat. All good on that rear door card and door shut. Backs of the seats are nice, they're not kicked or abused or stretched. Lovely and neat on that rear bench. Headlining's lovely, Inter both interior lights work as well. Into the boot, and the rams for the boot are nice and strong, they don't sag or drop. Still got the ribbons on both sides of the parcel shelf. Again, the parcel shelf itself is lovely and clean. There is a small split in the rubber mat for the boot floor. But other than that, lovely and neat and tidy in there. Rear passenger side. Again, all good on the door card. And nothing to whinge about. On the rear seats, there's no funny smells or anything in here. No sign of any damp or dogs or smoke. Lovely and neat on the front passenger again. The usual wary spots are all very good. Nice and neat. On the passenger seat, like I say, that material does look dirty, but you can see when we get nice and close, it is all clean and tidy. Carpet sets good, the heel pads are lovely, they're not worn through. This side of the dash is all nice and neat. And then under the bonnet, you've got that two litre. And the side of the bonnet's nice, all the sound deadening's where it should be. It was driven to us this one, it's been here a couple of days, starts on the button. All happy under there. Hop in, we'll get it fired up. Fires up on the button, no, no, no signs of any warning lights or anything like that. So we're on the back. Ticking over nice and happy. Nothing nasty coming out the exhaust, nice and smooth around the front. So there you have it. Nice documented history, if you check the description, we'll detail everything we know about it in there. 19,000 mile Rover SD1. Thank you.